you know, we can um, talk about mutual respect until the cows come home. But at the end of the day, I think we must talk, um, call a spade a spade. Trying different cam camera angles, I want my audience to be able to see that I am in a wheelchair. Hence the hand of hand technique and the microphone um, in the hand so you guys can see some of the things you have to do. When you're manipulating a coffee cup, steering wheel, you know, all of that. But um, that's been discussed in a couple of previous videos. You can look at the chronology um, um, that you find on my channel. Uncomfortable conversations. Um, I think, you know, this weekend and a couple of weekends... The thing that sticks out to me most is it's not us as men in wheelchairs or women in wheelchairs that sometimes are the problem. And yeah, we can get in our own way, trip over our own shadow, have a model of perfect that we also want to force. But um, please, uh, to the audience that we're trying to attract, if we gay, straight, whatever, thick, thin, a little in between, slender, whatever, please stop rejecting us for issues that we can't control. Yeah, if you have problems with us as a man or a woman, uh, we can get down with that. But um, please stop rejecting us for issues that we really can't control. Um, and now, no, not to use this camera angle again, probably. Um, but some of us, we're strong enough to push our wheelchairs, strong enough to transfer onto the loo, strong enough to shower and dress. But a big part of living independently is probably going to be the cooking. You know, you could, you could learn to drive. An occupational therapist could assist you, and you can, and you can, um, you know, get yourself through a drive-through coffee on the morning to work, you know, buy your lunch, lunchtime. But for day-to-day -day living, we get it. You want that home-cooked meal and you want to know that you can do your side of the division of labor. I know this. Been there and done that. But it can be difficult. This is why I say, please stop rejecting people with disabilities for issues beyond their control. It's it's not pleasant, it's, 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 it's unpleasant, it's hurtful, it's spiritually taxing, I mean, you know, it's not, it's not your mother's fault that she is also the one doing your cooking and your cleaning, I mean, a couple of, a couple of years ago when you were in school, everybody thought, well, how amazing, you know, uh, your mother helps you write and do your homework and that's brilliant, and, and then, and then your erotic mold starts to develop, and you want to bring X person home, but X person doesn't have the real guts to ask the question: Why does your mother help you? You look so, yeah, you're in a wheelchair enough, but you could fake paraplegic pretty well, and that's correct. But when it comes to cutting the food and dishing the food and uh, getting the butter to all. Four slices of bread and getting the toilet paper in just that right spot so you don't have a skid mark on your underwear. Um, it can be a problem and uh, unfortunately people don't ha know how to ask and answer that question. And, and unfortunately you do end up dating, you have wonderful sex, take out food, my city buses and then... You break up and then they tell you, you don't have goals. You you have to consider your family too much, blah, 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 you know. And that isn't always the right attitude to have. Because if you knew how irritating it is every time to hear somebody at the dinner table tell you, just pick it up with your hand. Where inwardly you want to be having the knife and the fork in your hand and you want to be asking somebody to shake the salt on for you. And, you know, 
it can be very frustrating to to hear that all the time. You know, just pick it up with your hand and sometimes you don't want to pick it up with your hand. So you ask somebody to feed that last fork full of rice or cut that part of the chicken for you or cut your steak. And it doesn't make you any less of a person. So to the able-bodied community and some of these bitches in the disabled community, also, stop fucking rejecting us because we are disabled too. We can also love you. We also are deserving of good partners, strong partners, but most of all, loving and affectionate partners. It's not always that you need a nurse to be your partner. Y- you know, um, sometimes you just need somebody that's willing to lay under the same double bed blanket with you, and you guys can smell each other's bath products, watch a TV, have that body to body contact. Look, penetration disability dependent is always going to be a bit of a challenge (laughs) but i mean having that intimate body to body contact is also part of it if you're gonna hinge your emotional and spiritual health on a fucking honey do list i think you're gonna make a mistake anyway thanks for trying out a new camera angle with me um that's where i'm gonna leave it uh comment Click like, subscribe, Uh, uncomfortable conversations, I know, but yeah, this is what we got to do, because the lockdown is necessitating it, you know, Um, at least a little before lockdown, I got a message from an ex-girlfriend, and another message from an ex, and then out of the blue of the weekend, uh, I got a message saying, "Yeah, yeah, you met somebody new, I tell the person, don't make assumptions. But, um, yeah, I think that's where I want to leave it, yeah. Um, stay well, stay warm. If you haven't had an accident, uh, try not to shower as much if you go, if your country is headed into winter as mine is. But, um, because it's freezing and although viruses are in the air, the the comfort and discomfort when you get from the warmth back to your chair could trigger some spasms, trigger your bladder, you know. But anyway, that's where we'll leave it. Subscribe, share, like.